Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And I was like really thinking about, hmm, what should I film for my channel? It's been like a good week and a half. Like, I know I brought up the wedding. Where is the wedding? Like, like is it gonna happen? All these questions. And I just was like, you know what? Let me just film a life update. I think that those are like easy videos and it helps you get updated with what's going on with me so i hope that you guys are doing well i hope that you guys are staying safe and staying home taking walks when necessary feeding your mind your body your spirit and all that let's get into the life update so first things first is the wedding is it happening what is going on is it happening <sighs> hmm. So the thing is, either way, me and Jose are gonna get married. Like they're, I know, releasing a way to get marriage licenses on online. And we just think, and not we just think, but like Jose reminded me that getting married is also like a faith move. And like, if God wants you guys to be together and everything like that, like, it's important to take that that step as well and we definitely don't want to wait a full year we want the same wedding anniversary um, it really means a lot to us to get married July 17th or just in July period like that's when we started dating um, and that's when I got engaged like now it's like okay July is the month where we want to get married so either way we think that we're going to if worse comes to worse go to the court and get married I'm just like oh I'm still wrestling with the fact that we if we do have to go there like I have to go to the court and I just think that is for me in my personal opinion very tacky like I didn't set it out that way for me to get married um, but once again I have to keep thinking about my thoughts and it's like what I you know wanted for my wedding not to say it doesn't matter but like you know we don't have any control over what's going on right now in the moment so I kind of have to adjust to a new normal either way like I said Jose and I would still get married in July and I mean we're just trying to get everything up to date just in case it does eventually happen so we just don't know everything is up in the air as far as our venue they cancel weddings up into june 15th so that's like a month before our wedding so we don't know that's like the answer either way we want to get married um so i'll keep you guys updated on that um, secondly very exciting news i might be moving still in brooklyn um but like back closer to like my family um and where i grew up which i kind of miss like when i moved um i live very far out in brooklyn right now and i moved you know nobody lives around me it's not a diverse area you probably see like four to five black people like a week um but it was what i could afford um at that time when i moved out i moved out at the age of 22 i'm about to be 29 um so i've been living here for a good little minute y'all and um i was just like all right like i want diversity in my neighborhood i want to go and get some west indian food i love west indian food there's nothing like that around here so i'm just like bro i just i can't anymore and, and i like as i think about it more i'm like it really did isolate me because i used to be at my best friend's house all the time like literally we grew up right around the corner and i used to be at their house like they were like a second family to me and once i moved i couldn't do the same thing you know so i was like it's nice that i'm moving back or closer to that area so i can be around my family more i can be around my friends more um because simply it just can't like people don't be trying to come all the way to this side of the Bro brooklyn and i understand because it's very far um so yeah like that's exciting news so i'm actually going to see an apartment tomorrow with my dad and my fiance just to make sure that i like it and the best thing about it is like it was a family friend like I was one day up like looking for apartments and I was like oh like I really have this vision for us to move and not be in my apartment I just think that it will be a better transition for us to like you know move in a different apartment so um as I'm looking for apartments like later on that day Jose is like calling me he's showing me the apartment that um his family friend like offered us you know and it's a good price we will be able to save a lot of money um and you guys know or i don't know if i shared this on youtube but 
on Twitter I said that we're trying to be homeowners like by the age of 34, 35. So it's like hustling to save money, hustling to pay down debt, student loans, debt, all of that. Like we we can't be playing. And this apartment allows us to do so. So I'm like, yes, Lord, you did that. You did that. But for real, God be coming through for you, girl. So hopefully everything works out with that. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. But if so, in my mind, I have it set that I will be moving out July 1st. So it will be more like apartment moving vlogs if everything goes well. So lastly, how is quarantining, social distancing going? Um, so as you guys know, I live alone. I'm social distancing at home. Um, I could have went to my mom's house, but then I would have to sleep on the couch and I'm like, I don't want to be uncomfortable. Um, it's like I want the family aspect, like I want to be around my family, but it's like I know I would be tired, so I would be traveling back and forth. Like, it's just going to be a lot. So, and I'm, plus I'm not trying to take public transportation and to get to my mom's house, it's literally one train, two trains, and a bus. So two trains and a bus, y'all, to get to my mom's house and it takes about like an hour 20 minutes so it would just be a lot of traveling and i don't trust the trains at the moment so right now i'm just home um so and my the thing is my mom doesn't drive my dad drives but my mom and my dad are divorced so it's like i would still have to make those two trips you know between both parents so i've been home my dad has came to visit to like you know drop off a few things or like take me to the grocery store um which is good and then my fiance Beyonce's family came to pick me up about like two weeks ago and we played um we at his house so I'm am getting like you know a form of human connection which I like um but yeah probably not as often as I should but listen other thing is like Jose came to surprise me and it's so crazy because um on Instagram I did post um that he was inside the apartment and I know back in the day I made a video about like boundaries and everything at this moment it's like we have no choice but to hang out inside the house um but we do hang out in my living room and we're still upholding those boundaries um but i think that it's important for us to still build that bond like it's we can facetime and we can talk but like we really want to see each other as well so yeah so <sighs> yeah hopefully this thing all blows over but um yeah i just wanted to keep you guys updated let me know how you guys are social distancing how you guys are feeling mentally or whatever um i'm also thinking about doing a live let me know if you're down like if enough of y'all are down like we gonna do a live let me know um but this was just a quick life update i hope that you guys enjoyed and you guys are up to date with what's going on with me let me know what's going on with you guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys